I'd sooner join the Legion. Yes? Malakath protect you. You should see my mother, Shara. If you need a cure, or a poison. You should see Sharov. If you need a cure, or a poison. You are speaking to Larak, chief of Morkasgur. Yes. I earned the right by slaying my father in single combat. One day, I will have a son who will challenge me when I become too old to lead. And the stronghold will have a new chief. Until then, I alone have the right to have wives and children. It ensures our strength. The Code of Malakath. It is both tradition and law in the strongholds. Break the code, and you must pay blood price. The code is not written anywhere. It is known and carried on by the orcs, and all who live in the strongholds follow it. For an outlander, following it is simple. Do not steal or attack anyone in the stronghold, or be ready to pay in gold or blood. You wish to learn from the best, eh? So be it. Greetings. What words have you to say? Well, isn't that interesting? And what about Yamars? Hmm. Yamars paid blood price. By the Code of Malakath. By rule. And Malakath will be pleased with me. What is that supposed to mean? You'd better be careful with your words. Ah, I see. My daughter is my concern. But there's a wicked shadow over at Narzalbur. I've just never heard of a chief losing all his wives. He might not be cursed by Malakath. It may be ill fortune. Hmm. Ah, now that's a good idea. I want that as well. Good. My daughter will travel with you. Yes. No. There's a challenge. Indeed. Good hunting. <laughs> I am wise woman to this stronghold. I have poisons for your weapons, and cures for your ills. He is our creator and master, the Daedric Lord of the Sworn Oath and the Bloody Curse. Malakath teaches us to honor all words with action, to demand blood from your enemies, and strength from your allies. He watches over all orcs as his children, a truth those who leave the stronghold are quick to forget. Ah. So you're an alchemist, then. Mm-hmm. Good to see you. Hello, friend. Yes, but I must stay here and wait for the day when I'll be married. 
and sent to another stronghold. It is our way, and I am proud to follow my people's traditions, but I can't help but feel chained. I... I am Lorik's daughter. Soon I'll be of age, and will be sent to marry an orc chief in some distant stronghold. I won't be married to some weak-willed orc chieftain. I'd sooner join the Legion. A chief's daughter marries who her chief wishes. It is our way. But I can't help but feel chained. Yes, but I must stay here and wait for the day when I'll be married and sent to another stronghold. I must follow my people's traditions. Until then, I train. My new home will need strength. And my new sisters must know I am not weak when I arrive. What? What did you say? No. It can't be. Mahulak. Strongholds keep to themselves. He is stricken. Cursed. Oh no. By the gods, this can't be happening. <laughs> I see. That is good to hear, then. Let me know what happens. What? Why? I'll wind up dead from this curse. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. I have no wish to risk my neck. <laughs> Pah! Liar. Ain't nothing pretty about an orc in the eyes of the Nords. Ha! You expect me to believe that? Your words are cheap. Hmm. Malakath teaches us to meet our fate. Perhaps this is mine. Very well, Outlander. I will go with you whenever you are ready. Lead then. You have my steel. Death brings me honor. Who's <laughs> 
Couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? Bye. All right. Bye bye. You can't hide from me. Bye bye. I'm not much for a conversation. Bye bye.
your death brings me honor. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it, we're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. 
Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. We need to find out if the Thalmor are behind the dragons coming back. We need to get into the Thalmor embassy somehow. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. What do you need, Dragonborn? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. Part of the cost of peace. Emperor Titus Mead saved his empire at a very high price. A price that included the Blades. The Nords didn't like the peace treaty much either. Thirty years later, the Empire ends up with the Stormcloak Rebellion on its hands. No doubt exactly as the Thalmor intended. Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the imperial provinces of Somerset Isle and Valinwood. The Thalmor take the arrogance of high elves to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamriel. For a century or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the Empire. Valinwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor, and they destroyed us. I'll see you back in Riverwood. Make sure to pull your bow all the way back to get the most power out of your shot. Leave me alone. Can't an old man have some peace? You ever have to farm land while there was a battle going on? I have. Mm. If you bring mead, you're welcome here. Ah, even if you don't, you're still welcome. I visited the meaderies of Riften once, as a lad. Oh, wish I had their skill. Yes, I've wandered a bit. But I always come back to Kynes Grove. My clan was one of the first to settle here. Legend says that my forefather, Lena, discovered the mines after he stumbled into a dark cave to relieve himself. Too much mead. 
Of course, there's another story of Lena losing the family shield in a different cave. So it depends on who you believe. According to my grandfather, at least, he swore that version of the legend was true. Even found the cave old Lena stumbled into. Well, a lifetime of study, you might say. The best comes from Riften, but I haven't been there in years. Ever tried making your own? It's uh, not easy, trust me. Hopefully that story about Lena's shield is true. Welcome. If it's Malachite you're after, you've come to the right place. I so it seems the milk drinkers were right. That dragon was nearly the death of us. All we can do now is rebuild. Until next time. Leave me alone. Can't an old man have some peace? How many Nords died to save the Empire? And what was our reward? I told her about the vampires and how much they would pay me for her. That is rich. What did she do? She's a girl. She cried. It's good to toughen her up. Not an easy world out here. Keep at it. An outsider? No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Your Never mind's always on the verge of collapse. Good thing I'm on. around to keep it up. I have. Nosy one, huh? I was a mage back in Morrowind. I lend my talents to the mines here, helping them keep the tunnels safe. By Azura, it gets hot in there. I use frost salts for a potion to keep the heat bearable, but I'm out. If you want to go to the trouble, feel free. I suppose I could offer you a bit of free alteration training when you get back. I can certainly share a bit of what I know. Mm. Morrowind used to be a lovely place, but you couldn't pay me to live there these days. Never have to farm Until land next time. while there was a battle going on. I have. Malakath, witness our deeds. You Rogi couldn't possibly do the work be a dragonborn or legend, My wife could you? I... On their brains, wasting time. Of course. Most of my kin are in the longhouse. Come back during the day if you wish to trade. Mm-hmm.
What are you looking at? It's late, Outlander. Come back in the morning if you need to spend coin. It's late, Outlander. Come back in the morning if you need to spend coin. Mm -hmm. Fight well. You have a death wish? The great stronghold of Narzalbur welcomes you, outsider. Hmm. I am surprised that Gullerzub was named chief. And what about you, Mars? You must be a strong warrior. So, the way to Malakath's shrine is clear? Hmm. What then of this woman with you? You bring me a wife. She would make an excellent mate. I can pay you handsomely. The mine is rich, and so are we. The blessings of the mine have been many, but I have no mate to share them. I've had several wives, but each dies sooner than the last. I'm hoping this wife cannot last the winter. I need more children. I see. I... I understand. I am cursed, it would seem, to live alone. I was lucky to get children out of the ones I did. Spirits. Ghosts. I am cursed. Haunted. And I can do nothing. Can you fix that? Tell me, outsider. Can you banish spirits? For that is what I need. <sighs> Breaking a curse is not a simple thing. It is dangerous. But to have won against Malakath himself... Hmm... Are the gods angry with me? Why else have they cursed me? Killed all my wives? Malakath has clearly forsaken me. You go offer yourself at Malakath's shrine. Petition him for help. You go tell Malakath to lift his curse from me. See how well he listens to you. Why you? You are an outlander, but strong. You kill the giants, which none of us thought possible. I envy you, outlander. You can choose to leave if you wish. If I am sent to marry Mahulak, that will be doomed for me. Why do you aid me in this? Hmm. As you wish. This is why I avoid being social. It is said that an orc first learns to wield a hammer in his mother's womb. By tradition, a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, she is called the Forge Wife, in honor of this. <coughs> Hello, my friend. Ah, she is the new mate of my father's. Glad my father seems to have found someone. I just hope she can hold her own against my aunts. Haven't you seen how my aunts act with my father? It's beyond strange. I don't know. I feel strange just thinking about it. The way they're around him all the time. I never knew my mother, but I doubt she even acted as affectionate with my father as Yatul and Bolar do. Oh dear, I'd better be careful with my words. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Nothing. You can ask Bolar, the wise woman, but my ants don't even seem to care. Huh? Hello, friend. A woman from Mahulak, eh? 
We'll see how this goes. I guess this one dies too. Ah, that is good to hear then. I've read the entrails many times, but can't fathom why Mahulak's wives keep finding tragedy. Yatul and I tend to dote on Mahulak. You know how ants can be with their favorite nephew. Mahulak was such a darling boy, until he got older and started having opinions. Urug and Dushnamub were such lovely children. I held them as they watched their mothers die after birth. They know me best now. That's right. They did not survive this long. Don't know why that's important, but yes. I know many poisons and cures if you need them. Orc poisons are to be feared if you wish to trade. Mm-hmm. Orc chief should be strong and sta- Hello, friend. Is that so? Did you show up with a bride? Well, at least now Mahulak has nothing to whine about. Until this one dies, too. Ah, that is good to hear that. Orc poisons are to be feared, if you wish to trade. Good. The more time he pines for the dead wives, the less time he spends finding a new one. They squandered Mahulak's love. Bolar and I should be all he needs. He wants to be a leader, but spends too much time moping over women. Orc chiefs should be strong and stand alone. They need no companions. Progeny is a poor excuse. I know I sound abrasive. Just that I love Mahulak so much I want us to be happy together. Of course. My mistake. Pah! He never had a connection with any of them beyond what his loins told him. Bolar and I should be all he needs. An orc follows to the death. Yes? Oh? What? Why? By the gods! These crimes offend the code of Malakath. They must pay blood price. May Malakath boil their blood and grind their bones. This stronghold cannot carry on this way. Orc women like myself come of age to be married and they murder us. You know I am doomed if we do not do something. Oh, what are you thinking? A curse? Ah, that is a fine idea. Then send word to the strongholds keeping wives away from Narzabur. I see. A ritual is necessary. Yes, I will go to Malakath's shrine. I'm ready. Let's go. An orc follows to the death. Mighty impressive. I'm glad I have the chance to travel to Malakath's shrine. Thank you. I used to look forward to the day when I was of age, to see new places and people. But a chief's daughter marries who her chief wishes. Soon, I will be of age. The taste is bitter.
It would be a cage. You're strong, clever, someone to confide in. I'm glad we are traveling together now. Thanks. So, what about the ritual? Hmm. I'm unsure that he will listen, but it cannot hurt. No need. Today, what is most pleasing to Malakath is known to me. Let's talk about my pretty neck. Don't say words you don't mean. Malakath teaches us to honor all words with action. Back your words with action. Yes. The girl has to grow up. With you, it feels right. Will you now be my chief? I understand. A great chief is able to attract many wives. It is our way. An orc follows her chief's wishes, naturally. For the orcs, love is a very personal thing. You can ask anything of me, my chief. So it will be, the two of us. Now, for you, I am of age. Here, let me show you how an orc learns how to please their chief. An orc follows to the death. Oh, thank you, my chief. I am pleased with your strength. It has given me such relief. We face the world together now. An orc follows to the death. Good. Lead us to our next task. read the entrails many times, but can't fathom why Mahulak's wives... You have a death a wish? I don't believe it. You have returned with word from Malakath. Good. I need a vision to lift this curse from me. Huh? What are you talking about? I really don't mean to be rude, friend, but are you serious? Wait, are you... Are you serious? Hmm. So where is this wife I need? Hmm. I think of Uglars, an old friend. When we were little, she ran into the woods to hunt and never came back. Uglars. Ah, I see. Yes, they'll pay blood price. You have given me a great gift. How can I pay you? I'll give you coin. Fine, let's trade then. The great stronghold of Narzalbur welcomes her. Good enough. Why you? Mm hmm? You have a grim look. Fine. Let's trade then. Of course. <laughs> you need my strength again. I'll be home. What can I do for you, friend? You need my strength again. I'll be home.
You have a grim look. Lead us to our next task. Good to see you, dear. I've come to tell you that I'm not afraid of Call upon me if I can be of any service. You'll be afraid of me to the day I came. There you are. You're wrong. You can't hurt me. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. That's good news. I was starting to fear something had happened. I'm glad you made it in one piece. Allow me to present you with compensation for your selfless efforts. Hmm, what's this about? Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. I'll send him my finest weapons and armor. And who would be her protector? It's always good to gain allies. I bet she would fancy an opportunity to roam with a warrior. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. You have my thanks. Please, call upon me if I can be of any service. Until next time. May your weapons be sharp, and your pr- Good to see you. I am free to live for my chief, as Malakath intended. My chief is strong. That is all that matters. I'd be proud to face the challenges of life with you. That is a fine idea. A stronghold would need the gold when I left to marry anyway. It ensures the stronghold receives a fair trade in goods for my absence. Ha. Huh. Huh. Ha. I'm content. I'm so happy we're together now. Me and you. You can ask anything of me, love. Perhaps. Back your words with action. Hello, friend. Lead, then. You have my steel. I have something I want to give to you. Here. <laughs> 